Hey again, it's Emily with Shawl. I'm a certified rolfer and an embodiment coach, and this is my unofficial boyfriend. And uh, this is our little embodied musings. So I just shared last week on the front of the spine. <sighs> Did you think about it? Did you see it? I don't know. Um, but I wanted to expand on that. And we've talked a little bit in a previous embodied musing about the psoas muscles. So the psoas come from the front, there's one each side of the low lumbar, come deep to all the viscera, just over pelvis here to the inside of the femur. We're not going so much into the psoas today, but the psoas muscles have gotten a lot of, a lot of exposure. A lot of people are talking about them. They're kind of trendy. They're kind of like a hot topic. I'm into that. And there's more to the story. And so I'll relate this to the front of the spine, but one of the things I want to say, and I think why the psoas muscles can get so much attention, and we just forget about all this other stuff, is to be able to work, access, um, from a structural standpoint, like manual therapy, um, or even like an emotional, um, somatic, energetic experience to, to access the psoas muscles, we have to first let go and release a lot of our main postural holdings and patterns. And when that happens, it's more of the release of these other patterns, these ways of projecting, presenting ourselves, when those release and soften, often it could be met with some sort of emotional release response experience. And so we're often like, oh, the psoas. Yes, I'm a, I love the psoas. And there's more to the story than just the muscles. But why I bring this up is the psoas muscles also, because they attach from the front of the low spine. Um, and I have been curious for a while, is it really the psoas muscle or is it more of us anchoring and connecting into this front of our spine? I think a lot in my work about the line, our relationship to our line, thinking of a plumb line going down the center of your body, how does your body orient around that line? And that line really intersects and touches and brushes up pretty beautifully with the front of our spine. And I think that line can have so many meanings. You can take it to be a very structural, physical line, that plumb line. You could take it to be more esoteric, energetic, emotional, where you know that center plumb line lines up with the seven chakras. That line is your energy, you know, spiritual connection to the sky, to the earth below. And it just so happens the front of our spine is right there. So this week, start to think about the, your front of, not only spine, continue to think about the front of your spine, adding to it your line, the plumb line going down the center of your body. How do you relate and orient around that? And do you feel a connection and interplay? You may, you may not, there's no wrong or right answer here. It's just curiosity. Do you find an interplay between the front of your spine and your line?